Representatives for Meghan Markle and Prince Harry officially responded last night to the South Park episode. And oh my gosh, is it blowing up in their face? Welcome to Popcorn Planet. I am Andy Signor. I did want to give you this update on this story because I know a lot of you are following this one. Will Meghan Markle and Prince Harry sue? Are they upset? Yes, they're upset. And honestly, I think they're watching, guys, because what did I say yesterday? I said they have to have a rep. Someone come out and just knock this out that they're not suing. And they did that, but they couldn't resist, and they went a little further. They labeled the South Park episode boring and baseless. Oh, my God, what are you doing? No, no, that's the opposite. No, oh my God, they can't take the joke. They can't take the joke. All right, we got more of the comment. I'm going to break it down, but I got to thank my sponsor before I do it. That's right. Look who's back. Sheath underwear. My gosh, if you guys aren't wearing sheath underwear, you are missing out on the most comfortable underwear you're ever going to experience. That's right. Why? Well, guys, sheath underwear has its special pouch technology. If you don't know what I'm talking about, it's got a pouch for the boys and it's got a whole separate area for the sausage. That's right. There it is. Uh, in fact, I think they got a better image here. Exact their special pouch technology provides a level of comfort never before conceived. Available in both single pouch and dual pouch iterations. Uh, guys, I, I I know this seems silly, Andy. Why are you always selling this underwear? God, it's so comfortable. I literally, it's the only underwear I wear now. I'm not kidding. Uh, you can get so many amazing brands and styles here over at Sheath uh, SheathUnderwear.com, and if you put in code Popcorn, you'll not only get a huge discount, but you'll be supporting Popcorn Planet. They've been one of our biggest long-term sponsors, and it's so nice to have them back. They always want to be part of this community. Uh, and yeah, ladies, they also have stuff for you as well. Look at this, women. Click on over. I know we got a lot of women watching. Steph, Kim, they've all sworn by. Jami, my partner, they love the comfort of their tops, their boxer briefs. You guys can pick up uh, as well. And then if you want to buy it for your man, I highly suggest you try it. It is so comfortable. Try a pair out. They got some new designs. They got some amazing designs. It's so comfortable. Not only that, it's going to it breathes. It's everything. I, I, I'm not joking. I wouldn't sponsor this so much if I wouldn't let them sponsor so much if I wasn't actually a fan. So guys, please head on over sheathunderwear.com. Use code popcorned, popcorned with an ED. Uh, and you'll get a huge discount and they'll know you came from us and you'll be uh, supporting us and our sponsors. We love you, Sheath Underwear. Thank you guys so much for the support. All right, getting back to the actual comments of what Meghan Markle said. Uh, well, let's be clear. A spokesperson for the Duke and Duchess sets the record straight. So this means that they had a person at their PR firm, as I told them to, to release a statement to the press. Now, I can't believe this, this organization would speak on their behalf without their approval. So what you're about to see is from their approval, mind you, right? All right, spokesperson for Meghan and Prince Harry is shooting down reports that the couple is suing over a recent South Park episode. Now, that's smart. That was what they should have done, and I told them to do that. Uh, but they said, uh, tell they told people, it's all, frankly, nonsense. Totally baseless, boring reports. Uh, so, of course, that's what they, uh, they, they had to put in boring, boring reports. This... Th that's a s total shot at South Park. And yes, now it's all over. The headlines everywhere. Meghan and Prince Harry label South Park boring and baseless after biting episode. Even though the quote seems to be about the lawsuit, they couldn't help themselves by putting in a slight jab at South Park. Uh, so while they, I you know, calling the, if, if the rep had just come out and said, that is totally a baseless, we're not suing South Park, that is ridiculous. End quote. I think it would have been sufficient and it could have worked. But no, they had to throw in. It's boring. And when you hear him say it's boring, back, back me up in the comments down below. Guys, am I crazy? I want you to go down in the comments. Again, before you're there, you guys have been hitting that button. I know a lot of you realized, oh my God, I was unsubscribed. Yes, they do it. So verify, hit the bell, smash the like button. And I want to hear your comments down below. Do you buy this? Do you think... Uh, do you think that this is a shot at saying South Park was boring? They wanted to get one little slight jab in there to knock it out, which was the complete opposite of what you're supposed to do from a PR perspective. I told him a hundred times, just own it. So many amazing. Uh, we, we feel honored to be on the show that has mocked so many. Boom. So, there's a version of that. If they had paid me, I would have drafted a hundred versions. That would have been far superior than what they did. And we would have finally been like, all right, good. They took the joke. 
They can take a joke, but no, these two can't take a joke. And by literally just saying that, totally baseless, boring, by labeling it boring, it's now just blown up in their face and the press is all over it. And we're all reacting like, oh my gosh, these come on you two, really? And it makes me wonder, was it all true? Because guys, let's go back. Let's go back. What did the report actually say? Prince Harry and Meghan Markle were mulling legal action over biting Southbrook episode. They were considering taking legal action. They could have still, that 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 could still be true. And the rep could have changed her mind and said, nope, we're, we're not doing that. That's, that's ridiculous. Because probably the lawyers told them it was ridiculous. <laughs> But now with this reaction, I don't believe anything they're saying. Notice, as, as the reports are saying here, she did not address the claims the Duchess was overwhelmed or upset. She did not, they did not get specific on that, and they should have if they're really gonna come out and play the denial. They're not. And uh, yeah, previously she was upset and overwhelmed by her portrayal. She was, you know, really didn't like it. Um all of this now reads true. Am I crazy? I want to hear your thoughts down below. Do you think? that they're unfazed really and it's just boring and they weren't paying attention? Or does this comment officially, an official comment from them, does this confirm exactly what we reported yesterday? And that, yeah, all these reports are probably true. They didn't deny going after the South Park producers explaining that it was incorrect. In fact, the comment saying baseless and boring to me feels like the response to what they allegedly said to the producers, which, oh, guys, that's not accurate. We don't want our, we didn't ever say we want our privacy. And apparently the South Park producers are like, it's a cartoon, sir. <laughs> I don't know. Am I crazy? Uh, yesterday, I was a little bit like, meh. But now with this official statement from them, it's hard to not think that there's definitely uh, definitely some true. And, and now, again, PR experts are coming out of the woodwork, and they're right. They're saying they should have never spoken out, says PR experts. Here's like a, a famed PR expert, Andy Barr, brought this claim to light during one of his most recent interviews. Mr. Barr blasts the couple's decision to address the episode since he believes they should have remained silent. Again, you do what the what the royals do. Referencing the couple's decision to brand the show dumb and stupid, he added, dare I suggest that they should take a leaf out of the royal family's PR book and remain silent? He told the Mirror, the firm's comms machine has stuck to their silent guns during the Meghan, Harry, Meghan and Harry attacks, and it looks very much like they are weathering the storm perfectly. He even went as far as to brand the threats of legal action as an empty rhetoric from the Sussex inner circle that intends to scare off media attention. It's not working. Very po few positives come from taking legal action, especially in terms of washing your dirty linen in public. The cross-questioning of Meghan and Harry could lead to some very awkward revelations about their lives and commercial work choices. So, yeah, uh, <laughs> it's not a good look. These, uh, look. I know a lot of my audience was annoyed that I've sort of jumped on this train. And to be fair, I haven't. I don't really care about these two. I, I stand with Stan and Cartman and Timmy, all of them. I don't care. I don't want to hear about it. But I'm going to respond to them trying to blame us. They keep trying to say we're the problem, and I totally disagree. They have This is now another example where they should have just ignored it, moved on, put the blinders on, ignore the trolls, don't feed the trolls, and they couldn't help themselves. And it's just an example. And it only reaffirms all the criticisms that have been against them. And I'm sorry, you have all this money, this attention, and these PR firms worth gold. And really you labeled it dumb, boring, nonsense based. C come on. You guys look so bad here. And this is from someone who doesn't care about you, but now I do care. Now I'm like, you know what? I don't care about what's going on in the press about you. You're you're antagonizing it. You're antagonizing the press. You're asking for it. This is ridiculous. It is a point where it's like they are literally saying now, we never said we wanted privacy. Oh my God, go Google it, people. Yes, they did. Meghan Markle has said numerous quotes about how she and her children deserve privacy and every public person deserves basic privacy. That's literally been her slogan. And now the reps are trying to say, they never said they wanted privacy. <laughs> I mean, come on. This looks so bad. This looks even worse. Take the joke, accept the joke. I don't know how you come back from this one now. Now they are seemed as humorless, uh, you know, spoon, silver spoon up there, you know where. Uh, this is the dumbest reaction I could have, uh, could have uh, ever written for someone to say. Never call the person who the world is laughing with 
The world is clearly laughing at and not thinking that South Park's being the bully here. They think South Park made some funny jokes. You can't then go out and go, that's boring and not funny and not true and inaccurate. That is literally going to make way more criticisms come out of the woodwork. So what do you think of all this? I want to hear in the comments down below. And don't forget, please, if you haven't already, go support our sponsors today, Sheath Underwear. Please go head on over there at sheathunderwear.com. I'm going to put all the details in the description. Go click on there. You'll get, uh, I think it's 30% discount off your order or 20%, I'm sorry, 20% off your order when you use promo code popcorn. That's P-O-P-C-O-R-N-E-D, popcorn at checkout. Uh, use that. You'll get 20% off your order and you'll be supporting us and you're going to get the most comfortable boxers you've ever tried. So please go give them some love. And again, make sure you subscribed. Thank you guys so much for watching. We've got so much more content for you today. Lots of news breaking. So don't forget to miss any of our episodes here on Popcorn Planet. Yeah.